pajamas, but I wanted to just tell this story about my condition that I'm kind of recently in and I was for last year that I had this major big surgery basically it's an open heart surgery but I wanted to go way way back to how it came about last year that I needed the open heart surgery so here you go and I hope you stay tuned for my condition to learn a little bit more about me and basically just find out what condition I have and maybe we can relate maybe we can interact and see what other like symptoms you had if you had open heart surgery or something involving your heart so I hope you like this video you can give it a thumbs up at the end of the video everything will be in my description below and let's start the story so it all started when I was either like seven ish I remember it was just seven ish years old that I was and I used to live in the Heights the Heights is like Washington Heights in New York City so I remember I came from the dentist with my mother and we was going back to the house and all of a sudden I blacked out I didn't know what was going on I woke up and I ended up in an ambulance behind and it's a little bit graphic so I woke up in an ambulance they were going to take me to the hospital and my mother told me that I passed out I also peed myself and I had like a little seizure you can say and they did exams on my head everything the whole nine yards and everything was normal normal as any teenage well not teenage any kid can be so that night I went home, everything was fine, years passed, and I believe I was 17. I started developing like little seizures. The biggest one was July 14, 2013 I believe. I had this huge one right away in my hall. I was feeling dizzy. I know the night before I was in a hospital because I thought I had the appendicitis, which I didn't. But it was the day before when I was home resting. My mom came from the supermarket. I was trying to help her. So while, like, my hallway is this way. In order to get to my room, you need to turn a corner. So while I was walking to my hallway, I literally passed out. I can say that I didn't remember nothing, but I remember getting up by myself. So my mom tells me that my eyes were white i was shaking and i just got up by myself i can see them with my own eyes but i couldn't like interact with them saying that i'm fine i couldn't say nothing so it was kind of freaking out because i saw both of them calling ambulance and everything i wanted to speak to them but i couldn't like i said a head doctor the head doctor told me everything was fine they did the exams a box and z everything was just perfectly fine so he sent me back to the doctor, my general doctor, and I believe I was I had to be drawn blood. So I'm the type to be scared of dry blood. I can pass out just by watching and looking blood. So imagine me g getting my blood drawn. So I would get my blood drawn first. I was feeling a little bit under the weather also. And I was sitting down, they gave me water, and when I got back up to get more water I completely just collapsed I didn't know what was going on when I went I was when I woke up I was literally on the floor they got me up took me to a private room and put oxygen max saw my heart that's when they found that it was my heart my heart was the problem it was never my head so they prescribed me to a heart doctor and I can remember her name her name was Dr. Scooby yeah like Scooby Doo I know and she just took me to a Mount Sinai hospital to do like exams from the heart and I did this little special one that from like your private area they stick like this little tiny camera and they take it all the way up to your heart to just like see what's wrong with it from the inside and when they saw that they saw a little 
it's not a it wasn't little it's like a little hole on the heart where the vein supposed to be not the vein but like a little package block supposed to be it was kind of open so when she told me that my blood flow was going one direction that it was not supposed to be going and that was the problem it was causing me and basically she sent me to a doctor called his name is dr barry love he's an amazing doctor and he just told me what basically i had so when he described to me what i had i best I, do i remember the name s a s l repair something like that i'll put it right here if i find what it is and sorry ew so basically we went again and he told me we had to do an emergency heart open heart surgery so he took me to my surgeon which he is an amazing surgeon hello i'm here so you already know so when i went to it he was describing to me like i said i feel queasy when it comes to like hospital stuff even blood surgery i feel queasy but i still like to see it which is weird but I went to him, he told me what was going to happen, and then like a week and then they were preparing me. I, it was in almost the end of October that I did my surgery. And it took about 7 hours, it was supposed to be less than 7 hours, but it literally took 7 hours in my operation. But I was told that they had to take a little longer because when they opened me, they saw that the opening was bigger than they even thought it was because apparently when they saw another camera they actually saw the precise I don't know like the size something like that but when they opened me it was bigger than they thought it was and also I already had blood in my lungs so if I was continuing the same way I wouldn't be here so bleh. thanks to everyone at Mount Sinai Hospital to Help me recover because basically four days in between that I literally walked myself to the bathroom because I do not like the little they call like in Spanish they call it like a little duck thing I don't like it personally I never did I literally walked and October 31st I went home it was a bad recovery I'm still doing the recovery because apparently you lose appetite you have emotion disorder like depression and everything I did can say have a little bit of depression but I can we can all overcome it I'm still recovering to this day like I still get little pains and especially that my nerves are getting used to being back together sometimes they don't go back but I feel like my nerves are cuz I feel like a little pinch and it hurts like hell and to this day I'm still doing whatever I want my doctor literally came to me well, I went to him and he literally did exams, echoes and everything. I went to the room and it literally took five minutes. It took me a half an hour waiting for him then for me to even speak to him. Because it was like literally five minutes into when he went in the room and he's like, see you in two years. Like, that should tell you a lot. Like, you're fine. He told me I was better. And to the surgery... I think whoever has this type of um, problem where you get seizures, lightheaded, fainting spells and everything like this, I think you should console your doctor because you might have what I have and it's good to figure out if it is and take the surgery because in the long run it's going to be very damaging to you, you might, like they say, I don't want to say it, but die in a certain way. Because blood goes into your lungs and if it goes into your lungs it's not a happy story so guys whoever have heart problems seizures punching spells please figure out what it is because I want everybody to live everybody wants to live long then they're supposed to so just go check yourselves out and I hope you like this story which is true cuz right oh and I forgot to tell you guys they have different sides of like to open your heart surgery they even have it here or they have it here I have it here because it's a little bit more invisible so you won't be a too much insecure about 
ear scars so I have it down here and I really like it I'll put a picture of it right here but guys if you like this video you can give it a thumbs up let's get this to like 150 likes or dislikes whatever you want you can talk to me about anything about your heart surgery or if you have heart problems or you want to talk about it you can leave it in my discussions below my twitter my tumblr my instagram will be in the description also and what else am i missing oh yeah so let's i'm already in 700 subscribers so like i said guys i have 700 subscribers and i'm trying to make it to 1000 by the end of this year to my accomplish my goals and yeah so let's make it happen by subscribing to that right here or up there or either you can share with family friends and just have fun twitter and like i said you can write in my description let's talk about basically your kind of i don't want to call it disease but your kind of condition that you have and to make each other feel better so i'll see you guys next week and also i have a collaboration coming soon and i hope you here to see it because it's gonna be a lot of fun because it's a challenge i want you to write me what kind of challenge should i do so it'll be right here just answer that question on my description below and see you guys next week bye this is the same.